So, good evening. Um, what you've all been waiting for, and as I promised that I would um, release it to you guys first before sort of the masses, if you like, so my followers are getting to see this first. So, as you know, um, I've been making masks since um, well, the beginning of March. Um, we know all that story, um, but you also know that I'd also started developing um, another product which could be worn as a mask which I had so many, so many emails about, but I wasn't ready personally to release that until I knew how things were gonna play out with um, government advisory. Well, now government advisory is that you wear a mask when you're out and about in shops. I know lots of people are struggling with the elastic behind their ears. I know lots of people are struggling with the ties behind the head um, and getting the right fit. So, as some of you saw, I developed the mask scarf. Now the mask scarf, or mask off, as we're calling it, um, is three layers at the mask where that, that part is shaped. You've got your polypropylene inner, so that's got your antibacterial non-woven fabric in, which is an, a, again an advisory. So how do you wear your mask scarf? There's lots of ways you can wear it. Um, like anything, um, you should be wearing it properly. So when you wear your masks, they should come up the bridge of your nose and they should come and tuck under your chin. Um, again, when you're wearing glasses, you can get the odd fog in, but if you wear your glasses over the mask, breathing through your nose and out through your mouth, you should eliminate some fog in at least. I know I do have to keep demisting every now and then, but um, unfortunately when wearing a mask, it is kind of part and parcel of it. These are a snugger fit, so you'd have less fog in with these. They're also really easy to wear in that um, you just pop them on. So I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration um, I'll pull it down and then I'll show you where you shouldn't be touching because lots of people I've seen wearing the normal mask, even the disposable, which they're not using as disposable, they're literally wearing them, putting them on the side and then wearing them the next day. That shouldn't be happening. They're disposable for a reason. Um, you shouldn't be touching the front of the mask. Um, you should treat your masks like underwear. So if you wear it, you wash it. Um, you shouldn't be sharing it with anybody. Um, if it's damp, you should change it. Um, and you shouldn't be going commando right now. So, how to wear your mask scarf. So you will put the mask part over your face. You pull it so you have some tightness going round. You cross it over at the back. You don't need to tie it at the back unless you want to leave the dangly bits at the back. I hope you can still hear me while I've got the mask on. Um, how I've been doing it is I've been bringing it back round to the front now I don't have a mirror here to be able to see if I'm tying it right, but I don't tie it too tight because you don't want to strangle yourself. And then I tie it in a little bow here. And then you can frill the bow out so you've got more of a drama. Now that, believe it or not, does completely stay up while you're wearing it. You've got enough um, air within the mask, if you like, that the breathing isn't an issue. I don't have an issue when I've been wearing mine and I have test driven this one around um, the supermarkets. Now I'd not left our area until last weekend when I decided to um, go to Port Maddock to do some, a bigger supermarket shop if you like. This was perfect, absolutely perfect. Now, if you're not needing to um, use it as a mask, um, so for example, you've been shopping, you've done your shop, you're getting back in the car, you would normally take your mask off. With the mask scarf, providing you don't keep touching the front, because you shouldn't need to re keep re-altering it once you've tied it so it's in a position, you can grab the sides and you can just bring it down and then you can position it so that it is just a scarf. It really does depend. I mean, what I don't want people to be doing is faffing all the time with it, but then again, if you, you get in the car and you're off then to the next shop, you can just get the sides tuck your nose underneath, pull it back up, bring the where you crossed it over at the back and make sure you've pulled that tight again. And then you bring this back round to the front. So you're not keep touching the mask. That's really important that you're not keep touching the mask part, that you're just sort of altering it from this bit here. And that, that again, if you find that it's getting loose when you're walking around, because ultimately when you're moving your head, things will move about. However, if you just alter it from this bit here, you're not touching the mask. 
and you can see quite simply i mean i'm moving my head around like a crazy woman right now and that's not coming down it's not riding up i don't feel that i've got to keep faffing with it like at anything none of us um excuse me while i just um remove it. So what i'm going to do is make that looser at the back and then i can bring it back and tuck it down like so none of us thought we would be wearing masks this time last year um, it is something I think we're going to have to get used to with the government advisories right now there's a lot of people against it there's a lot of people for it but right now scientific evidence is proving that you can if you're asymptomatic stop the spread of COVID-19 in the same way that um, if you're um, yeah you mean if you've got covid you don't leave the house do you but in the same way it gives people a little bit more reassurance that they're wearing something that could stop any particles getting through to them so i've got these um back to the mask scarves in lots of colors so we have the weekend away which um when you get close up it's got um people all hugging and kissing which um and we'd all like a weekend away i'm sure right now so we've got the weekend away We've got the faces, which I've just been wearing. We've got the lovely grey watercolour. We have the white faces. We've also got um, some plain navies. Now those are ideal for blokes or for the men in your life um, that are struggling with masks because I've had lots of emails from men. So a plain navy one is perfect for the men. It, doesn't have to be tied like in a bow you can just tie it as a tie coming down or you can just tie it in a simple knot and leave it hanging like a scarf um, we've got a limited run of a leopardy type pattern um, then we've got our lovely bright watercolors and we have some polka dot again these are perfect for the men in your life um, especially sort of um, the guys that are currently now having to go back into the office and they're having to commute on the tubes or on the trains um, and the gentlemen that you know probably a little bit more stylish those are perfect for them we've got the geometric ones in pink and we have the lovely reunited which I don't know whether Ellie can see close up and you can see that you get to see more of the lovely doodles of the ladies all walking around and reunited is something we all want to happen soon because officially we are supposed to only be meeting up with a few people um i mean in wales we've only just come out of a lockdown whereas i know in england for weeks and weeks i've seen people that have been meeting up but we're still re restricted actually to a, a small bubble um now i need you to share this post with absolutely everybody that you know i need you to hit the share button i need you to let everybody know about my mask scarves um, the nice thing about the mask scarves is they all come already in their own little wash bags so you can either carry it around in your handbag in that or you can just when you've finished wearing it pop it in the wash bag stick it in the washing machine and it's ready you can iron these and you can wash these at 40 degrees um, and you can iron them on a, a sort of quite a, a warmish iron um, we've got a limited run of these right now which um, once this video has finished I'll be jumping on my laptop and I'll be releasing them all live so you can then hit the website and grab one as quick as you possibly can they will be a product that I will be continuing with. We will be doing limited editions. We've got some that are absolutely phenomenal. Um, we'll also be doing a mass run on certain ones. So it really is right now, fastest finger first, because we have only made a limited run at the moment. But I really, really appreciate all the support you've been giving me. My little shop won't be opening this year. Um, as it stands, we're too small to accommodate social distancing. Um, with the government advisory of 72 hours of your clothing having to go into quarantine um, if somebody's touched it or tried it on i just don't think it's right for my shop to open so as we know my shop was only open seven months so we are doing click and collect from the shop so if you are visiting barmouth um 
more than happy to wave at you through the window and talk at you through the door at a distance and you can come and click and collect. Um, that would be lovely. But at the moment, the shop's not opening. So, yep. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you love my new product and I will see you soon.